Fiverr account that I started around two months ago at the start of this year. Currently, I, uh, I already earned around $212 net income and I still have two to three hundred dollars spending which hasn't been cleared yet so it's not on this report yet but in the in that two months span I already I, but in that two months span I already earned around four hundred dollars so how did I did it so I don't have any fancy presentation but I'm gonna teach you how I did it so step one is to pick a market or a niche. So ano ba yung expertise mo? Or ano ba yung pwede mong i-offer sa ibang tao? Siguro marunong ka magsulat, marunong ka mag... mag-edit ng mga videos, at kung ano-ano pang skill. So the first step is, again, pick a market or a niche. Step two is to create a Fiverr listing. So, pagka-register mo sa Fiverr, create ka lang ng listing na na nagsasabi na ibebenta mo yung, yung service na yun. By the way, later I'm gonna show you how you can do it actually on the fi on Fiverr itself. So, for now, let's just discuss the overview. So, step 3 is to provide the service. Pagkatapos mo magawa ng listing, meron, meron mga taong mag, may message sa'yo o meron din mga order na. So, after nun, kailangan mo i-provide yung service. And usually, the price that I sell is around $50 each service. Makita mo madami dito sa Fiverr, eh, mga $5 lang yung binibenta. Which is okay, but not enough for you to earn hundreds or possibly thousands of dollars per month. So the higher the services, the less people will order, but the higher your profits will be. Also, what I like about this high-end services, quote-unquote high-end services, is I get to do less work and I get to earn more money. So that's awesome. And step four is to follow-up. Hindi lahat ng mga magme-message sa'yo ay bibili ng product mo. So, siguro 50% ng kinita ko the past two months ay eh, due to follow-up. Na sinabi ko lang na hey, are you, is, are you still interested in this service? Meron dun mga mag, mga bibili or mga magpa-follow-up din sa'yo kung ano kailangan nila. And another person that you can follow-up is yung buyer mo. Kasi, bumili na yun eh. Pag masaya sila sa service na binigay mo, more likely, o order ulit sila ng kung ano man na pwede mo i-offer. So, in Fiverr, tawag dito, eh, extra gigs. At hindi lahat bumibili agad nun. So, after mo ma-deliver yung first order nila, pwede kang mag-offer ng extra gigs at pwede ka rin mag-offer ng discount para sa mga buyers mo. So, Let's go to Fiverr.com Fiverr.com and we will discuss this again step by step. We are on Fiverr.com and makikita nyo na madaming iba't ibang mga categories dito. So kung ano man yung expertise mo, most likely andito siya. I actually got started a few years ago, not on Fiverr. But I started writing SEO articles, which is a great way, by the way, to start. Kung wala kang masyadong skill. Pero ngayon, actually, hindi na excuse yung wala kang skill eh. Kasi ma mabilis na matuto ngayon. Eh. Madami ng mga online courses na pwede mong aralin, mga libro, at kung ano-ano pa. So, once you got the service that you want, you're gonna create a Fiverr account. So, sign up here. That's pretty easy to do. And to create a gig, so step two is to click on selling and to click on gigs. And then, makita mo dito yung step-by-step -step process na kung paano gumawa ng gig. 
So let's say you're selling an 1,000 word SEO article. So ilalagay mo lang 1,000 word SEO article. So ganun lang. Simple ang simple lang. Huwag mo na pahabain. Kung ano yung binibenta mo, hindi yung ilalagay mo. So kailangan title pa lang, alam na nila, ah okay, ito yung makukuha ko. Makukuha ko yung 1,000 word SEO article. So that's pretty obvious. And then for the categories, just choose something that you think is related to the one you're selling. So SEO, digital SEO. And then for the tags, ano ba yung mga pwedeng search nila kapag hinahanap nila yung SEO article? So obviously, SEO article or articles. Short articles. Short story. SEO service, SEO optimization. So, ilalabas naman nila yun ng fiber yun. So, pwede ka pumili hanggang lima. And then, just save and continue. And then, step by step lang naman yan. Dire-direcho mo lang Pili ka lang ng price, kung magkano yung mabibenta, pili ka ng pangalan, and describe kung ano yung makukuha nila. And then, yeah, that's pretty easy. Step by step naman to. After nun, description, kung ano yung binibenta mo, susulit mo lang. And then, requirements, kung ano yung mga kailangan mo makuha sa kanila on their part para ma-provide yung service. And then, yung gallery, yung makikita nila, sa service mo. So, let's say, so, let's say that this is your gig. Yung gallery ay ito. Yung part na to. Yan, yan yung mga gallery. Okay. And then, just publish it. And once you're done, you're probably gonna get some messages or some orders already that you just have to provide again, which is step three and step four ay yung pag-follow up sa mga hindi agad umorder or yung mga naka-order na and you want to offer them other services. So again, this is just an overview but if you want me to create a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how I earn through Fiverr, then just comment below this video and I will do the video that you want me to do, okay? See you on the next video and...